Hello, welcome, namaste. My name is Babette. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm excited to talk you through and guide you through today's practice. We, we it's shorter. Uh, it's my birthday today, and I'm leading a training in New York City. I uh, have not too much time, but I still wanted to get a nice flow out for you. Uh, your practice space, mat, hand towel, some water, maybe blocks, keep them handy, and we're going to get started. Uh, please uh, meet me in a downward facing dog. If you want a couple cat cows before you move into that shape, uh, please go ahead. You can also circle the shoulders a bit over your wrist in the tabletop. Uh, but I personally pre prefer to, as I open up in a down dog, to find a lot of movement. So you can pedal out your feet a little bit, maybe go for a gentle head bobble. Uh, to release the neck. If you're not sure about the length of your down dog, you can always go for a plank pose, shoulders over the wrists, and then allowing the hips to draw back without shortening your down dog too much. Fingers, spread them out wide, fan them out wide, allowing you to disperse the weight over the entire uh, hand. Metatarsals, fingerprints, knuckle pads. Uh, feet about inner hips width apart allowing your knees to remain soft. And of course, please uh, fire up your ujjayi breath. Let's go for three more breaths here. Inhale, you can slightly back off out of your downward facing dog. And exhale, you can deepen a little bit. All right, oh, one more breath like that. Let's move a little bit more through your spine. You can allow your heels, hips to lift. Continue to look back or roll it forward to a plank pose. Exhale, draw the hips back, softening knees downward facing dog. Next inhale, let's roll forward, please. Exhale, allow for Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Uh, one more time, uh, shifting variations. Inhale, coming forward plank. And then allow one or both forearms to come down at the same time or one after the other. You're in dolphin pose, looking at your thumbs. And then please look at your feet, head drops. Push into your hands, lengthen through the arms, downward facing dog. Uh, on the next inhale, draw your big toes to touch, please. Float your right leg off the ground, dog split. Bend the knee, open hip. Circle through your ankle, go for clockwise, counterclockwise. Next inhale, re-lengthen through your right leg. Exhale, tap the right knee to the right tricep, that is enough. Or perhaps go for Chaturanga arms for the spider push-up. Inhale, lengthen through the arms, right dog split. Let's go for that twice more. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, hold it or bend the elbows back. Inhale, lengthen through the arms, right dog split. And one more time, stay up or come forward, knee to tricep, hold it or Chaturanga arms. Inhale, lengthen, right dog split. Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. And smooth out your breath. Maybe a sigh. Allow for a child's pose or sit up on your shins. You're more than welcome as you sit up or in child's pose, just to circle through your wrists. Uh, sometimes I like to take what I call jazz hands, uh, sparkle fingers, just to shake it out. All right, next inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Uh, on the next inhale, heels, hips lift, continue to look back, dome the spine forward to plank. Exhale, draw it back to your downward facing dog. 
Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, our knees, chest and chin. Upward facing dog. Of course, cobra is an option. Exhale, downward facing dog. Uh, one more variation, please. Inhale, come forward to plank. You can lower one form at a time or try for both seat lifts though. You're in dolphin, so not a forearm plank. Look at your thumbs first, please. And then let the head drop. Push into your hands. Use the entirety of your hand. Lengthen through your arms, downward facing dog. Drawing your big toes to touch. Inhale, float your left leg up to the sky, dog split. Bend the knee, open hip. Circle through your ankle, bit of a clockwise, counterclockwise. Next inhale, relengthen through your left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Give it a tap, hold it. Maybe bend the elbows back. Inhale, relengthen, left dog split. Twice more, stay where you are, let's come forward. Knee to tricep, Tataranga arms. Inhale, relengthen, left dog split. One more time if you want to, coming forward, knee to tricep, bend the elbows back. Inhale, relengthen, left dog split. Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose, side out. On your next exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet, back of the mat, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Finding that beautiful forward fold, Uttanasana. Not too far forward fold, babs. <laughs> inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over. Twice more, inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Uh, inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Next inhale, arms reach back up, please. Urdhva Hastasana, press down to the feet. Exhale, fold over, take your time, lead with the heart. Head drops, half lift on the inhale. A heel toe your feet about as wide as the mat, toes out, heels in, bend the knees, lowering down for malasana. Take your time with that. Hands can come to the heart. Uh, so malasana comes from the word mala, which means garland, a garland pose. Uh, so maybe imagine your pelvic bowl, uh, the, kind of hanging down like the bottom of a garland. And everything up from there is lengthening, elongating. Go for deep inhale through the nose, side out. And next inhale, hands come down, sit bones up. Heel to your feet underneath you, go for half lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale one more, one more time, half lift please. Exhale, walk it forward to your plank pose. Uh, from your plank, let's lower down through chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Next inhale, draw your big toes to touch. Float your right leg off the ground, dog split. Please step the foot forward between your hands. Come onto tented fingers, fists or blocks. Some, some elevation. Inhale, looking forward, expand across the collarbones, drive through the left heel. Exhale, lengthen through your right leg, hips draw back, allow the head to drop. Uh, your right leg, by the way, doesn't have to straighten. Next inhale, rebend your right knee, please. Uh, pivot left heel to the right and bring yourself up into a warrior two, finding your feet. So I'm going to combine a couple of things for you in this sequence. We're going to take one thing at a time so it's not too much information. Uh, make sure uh, you drive that outer blade of the back foot down, please. On the inhale, circle your left arm forward over the crown of the head and shave, so to say, the space around your head. Twice more. Inhale, left arm circles forward over the crown of the head, big shoulder opener, reaching back. One more time. Inhale, circle it forward, up and over, and then reaching back. Now continue to look over your right hand. Just change your foot pattern to warrior two over your left leg. 
but you're still looking over your right hand. Bit of proprioception challenge there. Then look over your left hand and your warrior two over your left leg. Inhale, circle your right arm forward over the crown of the head, big circular motion and then reaching back. Twice more, right arm circles forward. Joints, by the way, love a circular movement. Uh, mix the synovial fluid, very viscous, easier movement. Inhale, right arm circles up, over and back. Continue to look over your left hand. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two, over your right leg. And then please look over your right hand. We're gonna put a couple things together here now. Inhale, circle your left arm over the crown of the head and then draw that hand back to Skandasana over your left leg. Look at your right foot. Inhale, warrior two, over your right leg. Find your feet. Continue to look over your right hand, please. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two, over your left leg. Look over your left hand. Inhale, right arm circles forward up over the crown of the head. Draw that arm back to Skandasana over your right leg. Look at your left foot. Find warrior two over your left leg, finding your feet. Look over your left hand, please. Just change foot pattern, warrior two, over your right leg. Then look over your right hand, one more round. Inhale, left arm circles over, draw that back, skandasana, over left leg. Next, inhale, warrior two over your right leg. Look over your right hand, just change foot pattern, warrior two over the left leg. Look over your left hand, inhale, right arm circles up, over, draw that back to skandasana, over your right leg. Inhale, warrior two over the left leg. Look over your left hand, just change foot pattern, warrior two over your right leg. You can gaze please over your right hand, inhale, circle the left arm up over, draw that back, skandasana, left leg. And then please find a runner's lunge over your right leg, front of the mat. Maybe adjust your feet if needed. Plant the left palm down, inhale, right arm reaches up, spinal twist. If you want to challenge your core a little bit, you can come on tended fingers of your left hand. Make sure you continue to drive for the left heel or maybe let your right hip drop a bit. On the exhale, lower your right hand on the inside of your right foot. Maybe go for a block. Pivot the left heel to the right. Inhale, left arm reaches up. You're in side angle. Feel free to grab that block. You can reach the left arm straight up or over your ear, but make sure you're reaching through the arm. Go for yogi toe lock if you want to. First two fingers, right hand around the right big toe, and you're more than welcome to keep it or lose it. Inhale, lengthen through your right leg. Open that up to triangle pose, so either with or without toe lock. Find the tripod of that right foot. So driving down to the big toe mount, pinky toe mount, and the heel. While you draw your tailbone towards the left heel. Keep the toe lock if you have it. Bend the right knee, left hand lowers underneath your shoulder. On the inhale, pop on the ball of the left foot. You can go for side plank, vashistasana, either with or without toe lock. You can stack the feet, go for tree pose, any variation that you want. And then please, if you have the toe lock, keep it. Let's step your left, sorry, right foot back to the front of the mat. Release the toe lock, lower left knee down, untuck the toes, go for half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. A little lift, a little lengthen as you soften the right knee, but draw those toes towards you, and then exhale, maybe fold over. Next inhale, rebend the right knee, weight comes forward. Tuck your left toes, go for right dog split. Bend the right knee, open hip, beautiful. Maybe go for rock star to your left, uh, just to give you a bit of front body opening here. Hello, plant. Uh, pivot that back around, please, into a, a right dog split. Just try not again the way my microphone here. <laughs> Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Next inhale, let's come forward to plank. Uh, one or both forearms at the same time, lower them down, you're in dolphin. Look at your thumbs, look at your feet. Give it a try, both arms lengthen through them, downward facing dog. And we're com gonna combine that with Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come forward to plank. 
Exhale, lower forearms down, seat up, dolphin pose. And this time, instead of pressing back to down dog, I'm gonna shoot myself forward directly to Chaturanga. Use your leg muscles, drive through the heels. You just gotta lift the elbows, come forward, up and back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Maybe a sigh. And then please go for a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins. And take a moment. I'm just gonna switch here so I stay facing you. And then whenever you're ready, let's meet back in a downward facing dog. Next inhale, dry big toes touch and float your left leg off the ground. Exhale, step the foot forward and through between the hands. Tented fingers, fists or blocks. Inhale, look forward, fiercely drive through the right heel. Exhale, lengthen through the left leg, allow the head to drop. Next inhale, rebend the left knee, right heel pivots to the left. Sole of the foot is down, come up warrior two. So we build from the ground up, soften in the soles of your feet, maybe imagine them spreading, relax through the toes. Let's continue to look over your left hand, inhale, right arm circles forward, up overhead, and reach it back. Twice more, inhale, circle it forward, up and over, reach it back. One more time, inhale, shave, clear the space around the head. Look over your left hand, just change your foot pattern, warrior two over your right leg. Look over your right hand, facing the back of the mat. Inhale, left arm circles over the crown of the head. Go for the shoulder opener, reach it back. Twice more, inhale, circle it up over your head. Big, big circle. One more time, inhale, sweep that up and over. Continue to look over your right hand. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two, over your left leg. Please then gaze over your left hand. Let's add on Skandasana here. Inhale, right arm circles over the crown of the head as you draw that back into your skandhasana over your right leg. Push into your right foot, warrior two, over your left leg. Expand through the wings. Look over your left hand. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two, over your right leg. And then look over your right hand. Inhale, left arm circles up over. Draw that back to skandhasana over your left leg. Push into the left foot, warrior two over your right leg on the inhale. Look over your right hand. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two over your left leg. Then look over your left hand. One more round, inhale, right arm circles up over. Draw that back to skandhasana over your right leg. Push off, inhale, warrior two, left leg. Look over your left hand. Just change your foot pattern, warrior two over your right leg. Look over your right hand, inhale, left arm circles forward, up over, draw that back, skandhasana, left leg. Inhale, warrior two, right leg. Look over your right hand, change your foot pattern, warrior two over the left leg. Look over your left hand, inhale, right arm circles up, over, just draw that back one more time, skandhasana, over your right leg. Then please let's find a runner's lunge over your left leg. Framing the foot, maybe adjust. Uh, please, uh, tended fingers of your right hand, left arm reaches up, spinal twist. Just try not to let that left hip lift too much. Fiercely drive through the right heel. And could you possibly relax in your left toes? Exhale, left hand lowers underneath the shoulder, inner left foot, maybe go for your block. Right heel pivots into the left. Inhale, right arm reaches up, side angle, Parjva Konasana. So you can press the left shoulder, inner left knee, and vice versa. Keep rolling your left hip underneath. Right arm can reach over your ear. Breath. Maybe go for Yogi Toe Lock. First two fingers, left hand around the left big toe. Press that big toe down into those metatarsals. Keep or lose the bind. Inhale, triangle pose. Draw the hips back. Uh, you can always pulse if you're still finding yogi toe lock in your triangle. 
And again, just allowing your hips to move to the wall that you are facing if you're looking for it. Uh, you will stack. Uh, keep your toe lock if you have it. Inhale, bend the left knee. Right hand drops underneath your shoulder. Pop on the ball of the right foot. Vashistasana, side plank into your right hand. Again, you can go for the toe lock variation. Stacked feet, tree pose. And then if you have the toe lock, keep it. Inhale, step that left foot forward to the front of the mat. Release the toe lock, right knee lowers, untuck the toes, draw that back half split. Ardha Hanumanasana, maybe adjust a little bit. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold over. Next inhale, rebend the left knee, weight comes forward, draw the foot back if you need to. Tuck your right toes, knee float, inhale, left dog split. You can bend the knee, open hip, that's plenty, or rock star to your right. Uh, go for the heart opener if you want to. And then pivot the back around to a left dog split on the inhale. Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. And let's come forward on the inhale to plank. Exhale, forearms down, maybe one at a time or both at the same time, dolphin. Uh, looking at your feet. Uh, let's push up to downward facing dog. Makes her very strong and open shoulders. Uh, I believe I had a pinch of my rasana request, so uh, these are great to take to prep for that. Let's put it together with the chaturanga. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, forearms down, seat up, dolphin. And then you don't want to come up too high. It's just a lifting of the elbows so you can draw the chest forward. Pressing the elbows back. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Maybe side out. And then please go for child's pose or sit up on your shin. How are you doing? All right. So I got one more standing wave for you. Um, last week we did quite a bit of eagle, internal hip rotation. We're gonna build on that today uh, even further. All right, all fours on the inhale, please. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming back to your breath. Uh, on the inhale, draw the big toes to touch, float your right leg off the ground. Exhale, fall and triangle to your left. So right knee, left elbow, lengthen through your right leg. Left arm sweeps up. Uh, finding your feet, your legs, obliques here, not so much coming from your right wrist. And then look down and carefully lower yourself down onto your right booty cheek. Twice more coming from the ground up. Inhale, fall on triangle as you find your feet, your legs. Exhale, carefully lower it back down to the ground. One more time, inhale coming up. And then exhale, lower it down to your seat. Bend your back knee, your left knee and draw the heel in towards your groin. Take your right foot roughly parallel 45 degree angle with the left corner edge of the mat so you're on your mat. The right forearm can be on the right thigh, just try not to drive down to the quads or take it to the inner right side, maybe on a block, palm up or down. Left arm reaches up for this gate pose variation. You can actually push down through the right palm and forearm to roll your left shoulder further back. Of course, you can reach your left arm over your ear but here, try to keep both butt bones on the ground and try not to roll down. You're missing out on that beautiful side waist opening. So keep your chest facing forward. Go for one more breath. And on the inhale, please come up to sit. Take your left hand to your left behind you as you come up to stand on your left chin for the stargazer variation supported rock star sensation as you draw your seat back down to the ground. Let's face your right leg, which is in an angle to the left corner edge of the mat. 
Uh, take your left foot down to the ground, the knee faces up. Draw the knee in close towards you. Uh, the trick here is to not sink in the low back. Find that lower core engagement. Inner arms reach up. Exhale, reaching forward to the inside of the left thigh. That is enough. Hands can come down in front of you while you pull your heart forward. You can also bend the arms and wrap them around the left shin and thigh, maybe peace fingers, maybe even uh, the right wrist or left wrist. Marchyasana pose. Inhale, keep drawing the heart forward and through. And exhale, maybe deepen a bit. Now carefully release the bind if you have it. Uh, take your right hand to your right, left arm reaches up, push into your right hand, lift the right leg and then thread the right leg all the way back in this spinal twist you may have to adjust. Now try not to sink in your ankles and your knees, lift your hips, inhale all ten toes to the left boomerang twist and then pivot on the heel of your left foot, ball of your right foot back to your spinal twist. Twice more, inhale, boomerang to the left. As you pivot that back around, spinal twist. Uh, one more time, inhale, boomerang to the left, all 10 toes, hips dip, and then please come back up, spinal twist. Exhale, a look down, reach your left arm forward, chest is down, push into your right hand and then thread that right leg through, have a seat in the same position that you were a moment ago. Step your left foot this time over your right thigh, facing the front edge of the mat. You can stay up or arms reach up and then forward inside left thigh, same thing. And then find an anterior tilt of your hips, aka you turn your butt bones back, maybe come onto your forearms for this funky lizard variation. Your left hip will uh, lift off the mat a bit. Go for a deep inhale, maybe side out. And then please, if you're on your forearms, walk your hands back. Bend your right knee, draw the heel in towards you. Left hand drops behind your seat, right arm reaches up. Exhale, go for your twist. Uh, of course, if you want to, you can take your hands over to your left as you go for your twisted side crow parja bakasana variation. Of course, you can scissor out the legs for kundanyasana one but eventually we'll all meet in that seated twist, Arna Matsi and On the inhale, let's open up to the right counter twist and come up. Take your hands to the top edge of the mat, step into your left foot, spin open, standing split, right leg float. Exhale, feet together, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over. Another half lift, please. Your right hand, take it underneath your shoulder, tended fingers maybe block. Pop on the ball of the left foot. The left hand goes on the top of the left foot. And then draw that left tail back, opening up into your Ardha Chandra Chapasana from the ground up. Stay with your breath. It's a push and it's a pull. Go for one more. And then please release uh, the tail. As you take that left foot three feet behind your left hand lowers, as you land in pyramid pose, Parjvottanasana, bit of a railroad track between the heels, half lift, draw the right hip back, maybe find your blocks, exhale, fold over. Make sure your heels are on the ground to anchor you. Uh, gonna go for a bit of an open twist here, half lift. Right hand, take it to the inside of your right foot. The left arm extends to the ceiling, turn your chest open to the left, press down to the heels, maybe bend the left elbow, take the lower arm behind the low back, you can snuggle the hand into the right inner hip crease. Now go for a big breath in, maybe push a bit more into your right hand so the left shoulder can roll further back. On the inhale, free your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, take the hand back down and frame your foot with both hands. Look forward, shiva squat on the inhale. Take left knee to the outer right knee. Squeeze the legs together. Reach back with your right hand, big toe edge of the left foot, left hand underneath the shoulder, maybe block. As you lengthen through your right leg, pull the left tail behind you for your revolved half moon uh, variation here with the tail grab. I'm gonna come face you here. 
And now you can stay here for a breath or perhaps bend both knees, grab the pinky toe edge of your left foot, left hand to the left, right toes to the right. Maybe go for baby grasshopper and then try to draw that back into your revolved half moon variation. As you uh, release your left foot, right hand lowers. Take your left foot all the way back, runner's lunge. Uh, as you draw your right leg back, start to lower down through Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Maybe a sigh. And go for a child's pose or sit up on your shins. I'm just gonna check my technology here for a moment. Awesome. Got another final lap to go here. All fours on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay with your breath. Next inhale, dry big toes touch, float your left leg off the ground. Exhale, fall in triangle to your right. Left knee, right elbow, find your feet, open that up. As you look down, carefully lower down onto your left booty cheek, press into the palm. We'll go for two more. Inhale, come up, fall in triangle. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, coming up. And exhale, lower that down. Let's bend your bottom knee, your right knee, back knee, draw it in towards you. Left leg roughly 45 degree to the right corner edge of your mat. Left forearm can be gently on the left thigh or take it to the inside of the left thigh, palm up or down, yogi's choice. All right, arm reaches up. So pushing through your left forearm, you can roll your right shoulder further back, maybe kick through the left heel as well. Find those butt bones on the ground. Maybe reach your right arm over your ear, big side waist opening, huge. Now use your inhale to come up. Take your right hand behind you as you come onto your right shin for that stargazer variation. I think it's more like a supported rock star to me and then lower your seat back down to the ground. Let's face your left leg, right knee faces up, sole of the foot down. Uh, find the heel close in towards you, your sit bones, arms reach up, exhale, reach forward. That's enough, tented fingers, maybe possibly. Or reach your arms around, going for your Marachyasana variation here. Uh, maybe grab the wrist, piece fingers. Keep drawing your heart forward through. As you carefully, mindfully, please release the bind if you have it. Left hand, take it next to your left seat, push into the ground, right arm reaches up, left leg floats, thread that left leg all the way back, maybe adjust your feet, spinal twist. Again, please be mindful of the ankle knee joints. Inhale, all 10 toes turn to the right, boomerang twist. As you then pivot on uh, the ball of your left foot, heel of your right foot back to spinal twist. Twice more, inhale, boomerang to the right. Take that back to spinal twist. And then one more time, inhale, boomerang to the right. Back to a spinal twist. Exhale, face your chest down, reach your right arm forward. Push into the left hand and as you thread the left leg through, have a seat. Um, this time, step your right foot over your left thigh, hug it in close. You can stay up, arms reach up. Maybe just find that forward fold or reaching forward, hands can come down. Or start to turn your butt bones back, find that anterior tilt, and then perhaps come forward for this lizard variation. Deep inhale through the nose, maybe a sigh. As you take your time to walk your hands back, bending your bottom knee, left knee, draw it in towards your seat. Right hand goes behind you, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, Ardha Matsyandrasana, seat a twist, plenty. 
if you want to hands can come over to your right pop onto the left shin maybe make that shelf for your cross-legged side crow uh, perhaps your kundinyasana one and then let's all meet back whoops in that seated twist variation all right inhale let's spin open to the left counter twist and come back up Take your hands to the top edge of the mat, step into your right foot, spin open, standing split, left leg float. And then step that left foot next to the right, forward fold at the top of your mat, Uttarasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, double tap, forward fold. Another half lift on the inhale, left hand goes underneath your shoulder, tended fingers or block. Pop on the ball of the right foot, right hand goes on top. Draw that right tail back, opening that up into Ardha Chandra Chapasana variation. Go for a bit of a pulse, a breath. As you carefully release your tail, step your right foot three feet back. That's roughly a meter, give or take. 45 degree in the foot, go for that little railroad track. Blocks, tented fingers, inhale, half lift, draw the left hip back. Exhale, fold over. Make sure those heels are down. You need them to anchor you. Go for half lift. Inhale. Left hand, take it to the inside of the left foot. Push down into the mat. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Open to the right. Bit of an open twist. The right arm, so you can maybe bend it. Take the lower arm behind the low back. Snuggle the right hand into the left inner hip crease. Go for one. Go for two. Awesome. Next, inhale, free your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, take it down. As you frame your left foot, look forward. Exhale, shiva squat. Bend the left knee, right knee, draw to the outer left. Grab the big toe edge of your right foot with the left hand. Right hand moves underneath your shoulder. Open that up to your Ardha Chandra. Um, Revolved variation here, your revolved half moon variation. Stay here for a breath. Or perhaps bending both knees, find the pinky toe edge of your right foot with the left hand. Right hand, take it over to your right, turn your left toes to the left, and then kicking through the right heel, you might find your baby grasshopper. Try to draw that back into your revolved half moon with the tail grab revolved variation. Uh, release your right foot, take a giant step back into a runner's lunge. As you draw your left leg back, go through Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Maybe a sigh. Take another breath. And then let's lower down to hands and knees. Just turn to face any long edge of your mat. So you can take your legs wide for Upavishta Kanasana. I like my feet on the mat so they don't slide. Here too, kicks to the heels. You want to feel the quads activate. It will lengthen you through the hammies. And then perhaps here too, again, that bit of a anterior tilt. Butt bones go back. Go for a little lift. Exhale walking your hands forward so as you kick through the heels the quads will activate glutes will activate so you can use that muscle strength to find your stretch here i especially find with the glute activation you can find the tilting of the pelvis that as confusing as it may sound anterior tilt but you tilt the pelvis forward your butt bones will turn back you can find that beautiful flexion all the way literally from the hip creases spine is long go for another breath and then take your time to walk the hands back you can draw one leg to the other and please come to lie on your back as I just gently adjust my music. Uh, 
take anything that you want to take. Maybe that's a bit of a back bend. Perhaps you just want a happy baby. Maybe a gentle supine twist. And of course, you're more than welcome to start to move in and towards Shavasana. That can be Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Hands can be by your sides, maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. As this practice of conscious relaxation doesn't just involve one area of the body, but every single cell and fiber of your being. As it's a state between concentration and meditation in deep relaxation. It's actually a lot more advanced than it may appear, this just lying on your back. So much more than just lying on your back. Processing your practice. You're more than welcome to stay a little longer on your back, of course, if you want to. Otherwise, it might Press pause or join me in a seated position in a moment. Whenever you're ready, of course. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Satchitananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Nirlambaya Tejase Om Shanti 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 In a nutshell, the inner light in me follows the light, the greatest teacher within and without, bringing me to reality, consciousness, and bliss. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. I'd love for you to join me in the sound of Om, or otherwise just enjoy those sound vibrations as well. Go for a deep inhale through the nose. Side out. And a deep inhale through the nose if you wish to Om. Thank you so much for joining me on this birthday flow. Um, looking forward to hearing from you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave me any message, feedback. I'd um, love to hear from you. And uh, thanks so much for uh, uh, practicing with me and your support. See you next week.